Greetings everybody, hey again, this is Masani. And today, I wanna share with you something very special um, that's near and dear to my heart. Um, I remember when I was a little girl and I used to watch TV, and me and my brother used to watch people make fire out of stone and a, and a piece of metal. I didn't know what the metal was. And, and I found these stones. So these stones are very interesting. I actually got a bigger one. This is a big, 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 one of the big stones. Actually, I found out this is flint, flint stone. It's part of the Chert, C-H-E-R-T, family, Chert family, um, quartz. So what I did was, you know, I did some studying on it. And what it has, it has a real nice, smooth, waxy, glassy feel in the inside. And there's a limestone covering. So this is limestone. And it's white, like a chalky white limestone coloring. And it's funny because when I did my research, um, I found that a lot of the Native Americans used to use these as weapons, like arrowheads. If you look at some of the um, arrowheads, it's made out of flint stone, which is part of the Turk family. So, and I always seen the uh, gray color of the uh, flint stone. But in Belize, it's interesting because Belize has some really like blood red turn um, colors. Like I'm wearing one of flint, a flint uh, stone, and it's actually quite nice. It's, it's almost like a like a red blood red reddish heavy red color. And I never seen the red color um, ever. So it's a, you know, so here's one. And it's flint. Very interesting. I actually think it's very pretty. I actually started picking it up and didn't even know what I was picking up. And I just started collecting them. And my sister would say, you know, what are you going to do with these rocks? I didn't even know what they was until I did some research. Look at this really big one. It's amazing. See how glossy and glassy it is on the inside? Nice, beautiful red color. And on the outside, it's kind of like... And it's weird because this one is not even chalky white, I believe. It has, has a darker tone to it. Because usually the, the white is a light, like a limestone. So I don't know what, what covering this is. But it is, this is flintstone. So what I wanted to share with you is that I actually have a piece of, this is a file steel. And I do have a stone, a flintstone. What I wanted to do was kind of spark it and show you what I was talking about. But I got to get my glasses first because... It's gonna, there's gonna be some sparks. So I'm gonna take one of the stones and I'm just gonna really like spark it with this file. All right, so this is how they used to make fire. So I'm gonna just pick one of the nice sharp ones. Oh, okay, let's do right here, let's see. Now, all right, let's see. Let's see if it sparks. There it is, so one. Some sparks coming up. So what happens is that it when the, the iron hits the when the iron hits the oxygen in the air and the, uh, the iron is coming off of the steel, it sparks. Let me try one more. Let me just get another one. Let's see. Ooh, let's use this nice big red one. Okay, let's see. There it is. If you look close, we gotta go straight down. See some sparks. Anyway, that's how they used to start fire. They would actually strike down on a flintstone with a steel, and it would actually start a spark. And whatever was down to like leaves or fabric, cotton, it would start a fire. It would start firing. So, what I'm doing, and I, what I want to share with you is, a lot of times I used to see people wearing ar arrows, like an arrowhead. Uh, flintstone, but I haven't gotten to the making of the arrow, but I like the stone so much that I made some Pendants out of it Oops, Excuse me. So if you look at my hand like right here, you see that pendant. I actually use copper wire So I use some copper wire and you'll see How pretty that is It almost looks like almost looks like amber, but it's not It's a different feel to it. And then I did this one here This one's really really nice. See that? And the back has like a real organic feel to it. So the Flintstone is something that's new to me that I've seen before in museums. And I've seen uh, people selling at flea markets as um, arrowheads. But I never really had the opportunity to actually see it. Uh, look at that beautiful. Look at that. There you go. See that? See the red inside and the combination of colors. The dark, like dark gray on the rim. But this one, it's a couple of them I really, really like. This one's interesting. It's just plain white inside. On the outside, you got this color. 
Uh -huh. All right, I showed you that one. Just a couple of them. Are oh, here's something that's really nice. Gray. This is what they're talking about. It's gray. This is the gray on the inside, but it's really kind of feels like glass. Like when you when you hit it, you shatter it. It's like fine. A lot of them people, you, you know, back in ancient times, the indigenous people use it as either a weapon and or just for cutting meat or cutting. So it's like a glass and it's sharp on the edges. So you got to be careful. So that's what I wanted to share with you. I wanted to share the Flintstone. So I'm going to be actually making some pendants uh, with it. And so in one of my tutorials, I'm going to be showing how to wire um, a stone. It doesn't necessarily have to be Flintstone. It could be any stone. So it could be gemstones, amethyst, any type of quartz crystal. Uh, that you really wanted to wire. So I spent time wiring this one. It's not really that challenging. You just have to have the basics. So I'm going to be doing a tutorial after this one. So if anybody's interested, they can go on my YouTube channel and, um, um, you know, basically subscribe and get access to a lot of the videos that I'm going to be sharing. Again, one more time, I just want to share with you this beautiful stone. Look at that. Wow, it's gorgeous. All right, everybody, be safe and enjoy the day, and I'll, I'll see you soon. All right, bye.